Hey, TK Nation. I'm Jared. And I'm Brady. Welcome to Trinity Kids Online. See, all month we have been following Abraham's family as they declare trust in God's plans for them. And this week we're jumping in with Jacob as he tries to make up for taking something pretty important from his brother. Oh, let's get it. learning how to dare to trust that God always has a plan for us, which is kind of awesome because that means we don't have to worry about a thing. See, you know what I worry about? What do you worry about, Brady? What do I have to take to lunch every day? You know, it's, <laughs> do I take a cheese and ham sandwich or a ham and cheese sandwich, man? It's just so it's, difficult. I know. Dude, that sounds like a really, really tough choice. I know, right? Well, maybe your challenge time today can help you shake things up a little bit, Brady. It's called... International School Lunch. Ooh. So you're gonna see a bunch of Ooh. options on the screen and you are going to have to guess which one is a real school lunch for the international country listed. You mean there's more than just ham and cheese sandwiches? So much more. The options are endless. So why don't you grab a friend, sibling, or adult in your home, or all of them, because challenge time is more fun with more people. Let's play. Woo! All right, everybody, welcome back to Challenge Time. We are playing a little international school lunches where we are gonna find out where these random lunches of combinations of food come from. Are you guys ready? Here we go, sliding on into round numero uno. Boom, number one, here we go. We got popcorn chicken, I think, in there. We got some mashed potatoes, we got some peas, a fruit cup, and some chocolate chip cookie. You know, some chocolate chip cookie, but it's just, you know, plural, singular, who cares? All right, where do we guys think it's from? Hmm. You know, the popcorn chicken kind of gives it away a little bit. Is it going to be in USA, England, Canada, or Germany? Mm, I'm going to have to go with Canada because, you know, I love chicken nuggets. Popcorn chicken delicious. You know, it's got to be Canadian. I'm Canadian. It's got to be for Canada. It's the USA, man! A? They don't say A there, but it is A. You know, whatever. It's USA, guys. If you said Canada, that's okay. Basically counts the same. Here we go. It's going on. Moving to round number two. Here we go. Local fish. Ooh. Little fish. Little with some arugula, wow, that's fancy. Pasta with tomato sauce, capri salad, and a baguette, and some grapes. Ho, ho, ho! This is quite the meal. Is it from A, Greece, B, France, C, Estonia, or D, Italy? Hmm, you know, grapes, cheese, come on. Man, if it's not Italy, where is it from, man? I'm gonna go with Italy, let's see the answer, and the answer is Italy, Woohoo! Man, eating pasta for lunch, that's like Italian pasta. That's gotta be next level, just saying guys. Woo, that'd be a fire lunch. Okay guys, on to round number three. Here we go. Looks like we got some pea soup, some beet salad, some carrot salad, some bread, and panaka with some fresh berries. Ooh, I, nothing's like a good pancake and berries, man. Just saying. All right, is it from A, Sweden, B, Finland, C, Latvia, or D, Norway? Ooh. Oh, wow. This is a toss up. It could be from any of those. And you know what? I like Sweden. I think it's they got a cool flag. So I'm gonna go with A, Sweden. Let's see if it's their lunch. The answer is B, Finland. It's basically the same, man. Just different colors. Oh, so unfortunate. Well, guys, that's unfortunate. I thought it was Sweden. It's not. Lunch round number four. Here we go. We got some fish soup, a little bit of tofu over rice, some kimchi and some fresh vegetables. Is that from? A, China, B, Japan, C, South Korea, or B, D, Laos. Hmm. hmm, well guys, rice and tofu, that's a lot of those places could use that. But I think for me, what gives it away is a little bit of pickled, ca pickled cabbage, also known as kimchi, which is from South Korea. I'm gonna go with South Korea. I'm hoping, cross the fingers, here we go. Let's see the answer. It is from A, it's C, South Korea. Let's go. Knew it, a little bit of cool knowledge there, guys. Try some kimchi, maybe you like it, maybe you won't. All right, guys, moving on to round number five. Let's see, we got steak, ooh, carrots, ooh, green beans, ooh, cheese, ooh, and fresh fruit. Now that is a lunch. Imagine having that every day at school, you kidding me? Get some steak. If you don't like red meat, that's okay. But I love steak, it's delicious. Is it from A, Germany, B, England, C, France, or D, Spain? Hmm. Where do we think the cows live, guys? We got some German cows, we got some English cows, we got some French cows, some Spanish cows. <sighs> hmm. I think we got some German cows. Let's go with A, German cows. Is it A, B, C, or D? It is C, France! Oh! 
They're French cows. I should have known. It's so obvious that they're French cows. Dang. Well, guys, you've got a right way to go. Congratulations. Moving on to round number six. Here we go. We got some baked chicken over orzo. Wow. Some stuffed grape leaves. Wow. Tomato and cucumber salad. Whoa. And we got some fresh oranges, Greek yogurt with pomegranate seeds. Wow. Now that is a lunch. Is that from A, Iraq, B, Morocco, C, Lebanon, or D, Greece? Wow. That is an interesting lunch. Now, if we think it did say Greek yogurt. Now, if my calculations are correct, Greek yogurt is from Greece and that, so it's so obvious, it's gonna be from Morocco, guys, obviously. So we're gonna go with B, Morocco. The answer is Greece. Oh, how is it? How did I not guess Greece? That's so unfortunate, man. Greek yogurt's from Greek, not Greece, man. Ugh, dang, this is so ridiculous. Round number seven, here we go. We got some mashed potatoes with sausage. We got some borscht. We got a little bit of cabbage and sriniki. Hmm. Let's see where this is from. Is it from A, Ukraine, B, Sweden, C, Germany, or D, Norway? Wow, we've got a couple of these. Obviously, I thought it was German cows. No shot, it's Germany, because German cows, yeah, come on. Norway, is it yes way or Norway? <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Is it Sweden? Could be. Borscht, kind of sounds Swedish. Or is it Ukraine? Hmm. Let's go with D, yes way. Obviously, it's D. Let's see the answer. It is A, Ukraine! Oh. It was so obvious how to not get Ukraine, man. Oh, well, guys, you got Ukraine, wanna go? Moving on to round number eight. We got a little sauteed shrimp over brown rice and vegetables. We got some gazpacho over red and some fresh peppers, bread, and an orange. Wow. All right, where are we? Are we in Jamaica? Are we in Portugal? Are we in Spain? Or are we in the Bahamas? That was A, B, C, D, if you didn't catch the drift there, guys. Let's see. Hmm. We got some delicious things in there. You know, peppers, where peppers grow. I can only think of Spanish peppers, you know? I don't think peppers grow anywhere else, right? There's no way. Portugal, I don't think peppers grow anywhere but Spain, just saying. So I'm gonna go with Spain, obviously, obvious answer, Spain. Let's see the answer here. It is not A, B, or D, it is C, Spain. Let's go, we got it with the pepper, Spanish peppers, obviously so obvious, guys, come on, if you didn't get the Spanish peppers, like, I don't know, okay. Well, guys, that has been it for the Insane Game International Food Lunches. Way to go, thanks for playing Challenge Time. For beating me, congratulations. If you didn't, that's totally okay. We'll see you next week, see you later. Dude, I have so many more options for lunch now. It is awesome! That's right. I was so focused on trying to get the answers right that I forgot to look at the food on the screen. I was so worried I was gonna make a mistake. Well, have you ever like messed up, you know, like really messed up? Well, yeah, like this one time I was making my morning smoothie and I got so excited. I had the bananas in there. I had the yogurt in there. I had the protein and powder in there. You know, like all the things that go in there. I was set, except for the fact that I Forgot the lid. Hmm, well. So there was a little bit of smoothie everywhere. Well, that's not quite the mess I'm talking about. More like, have you ever wronged someone or hurt their feelings but didn't know how to apologize, you know? Ah, uh, that makes more sense. So in our story today, we're gonna follow Jacob as he tries to reconcile with his brother Esau. And see if there's something that stands out to you in Jacob's story. Maybe a word or a phrase, or maybe God is putting someone in your heart that you need to reconcile with. Keep that in mind as we check out the Story Lab. Welcome to Story Lab. This week, we're talking about trust. While we look at the story of a man who had a lot to worry about. Oh, and we're also gonna be doing this. Hey. I'm Skylar, and this is Sebastian. And we're talking about trust, which is putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. Sebastian has an experiment planned for us today that I'm trusting will be incredible. Yeah, about that. You said you have something really cool. I did. I, I do. So... I didn't actually test it out yet. You don't think it's gonna work? I'm just a little worried. 
Well, what is it? This. We're gonna have a snack? No. We're gonna balance these forks together at once. On the end of this toothpick. On the rim of that glass. <laughs> Seriously? See, I knew it. No, no, no. We should try it. You'll think it'll work? I don't know. But just because you're worried doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Well then, let's make it. Step one, interlock the tines of the fork. All right, what if we, um... Did it. That wasn't so bad. Step two, stick the toothpick through the middle of the fork. Oh, and... Yes. <laughs> so far, so good. Step three, balance the forks on the rim of the glass. And... <gasps> See? You did it! Super cool. You didn't have anything to worry about. That's not what I was worried about. What are you worried about? Step four. Step four? Do not try step four without a grown-up. You'll do. Thanks. Step four, we light the end of the toothpick on fire. Hold on, what's supposed to happen now? We light the toothpick on fire, it burns down to the rim. The fork stays balanced. That's not possible. There would only be a tiny piece of toothpick still on the glass. See, now you're worried. Maybe a tiny bit. Are we doing this? You are doing this. Countdown, please. Three, two, one. Fire in the hole. What? How is this happening? Hold on. So turns out the center of gravity where both forks balance is actually below the pivot point where the toothpick balances on the cup, which is why it stayed up balanced when the toothpicks were burned up. Incredible. I was right to trust you. Never had a doubt. Uh-huh. It's time for... The story before the story. Today, we're in the very first book of the Old Testament, Genesis. The incredible world God made was broken. But God had a plan to bless the whole world through one family. God chose Abraham, who had a son named Isaac, who had twin sons named Esau and Jacob. Jacob tricked his big brother out of his rights and blessing as the oldest. And Esau was so angry that Jacob ran away for more than 20 years which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Erica. Let's talk about Jacob and Esau. Things had been bad between these brothers their entire lives. So bad that Jacob stayed away for 20 whole years. Jacob had been living with his uncle Laban and he had a big family of his own with lots of kids. But then God spoke to him. Go back to your father's land and to your relatives. I will be with you. Now, if you were Jacob, you'd probably be feeling all kinds of things. First of all, you might be kind of excited about getting to go home after so long. But at the same time, when you last saw your brother Esau, he was so angry, he wanted to kill you. Is he still mad? Or is he cooled down? Maybe you can actually hang out and be friends, or not. Jacob set out with his whole family, and when he got close to home, he decided to play it safe. So, he sent a message to Esau. I don't want my brother to think I'm coming home to beg for help or anything, so tell him I've been staying with Laban and become wealthy. Now I hope I can please you. The messenger left and returned. We took your message to Esau, and now he's coming to meet you. With 400 men! Say what? 400 men does not sound like a welcoming party. 400 men sounds like an army. Jacob was worried. Jacob separated his family and his herds into two groups, figuring if Esau attacked one group, the other group could escape. But then, 
he did something a little more helpful. He remembered to talk to God. Lord, you have been very kind and faithful to me. Please save me from the hand of my brother Esau. I'm afraid he'll come and attack me and my family, but you have said, I will surely give you success. I, I will make your children as many as the grains of sand on the seashore. Jacob held on to God's promises, and then he decided to show his good intentions by sending a little gift to Esau. Well, not so little. I need 220 goats, 220 sheep, 30 camels, 40 cows, 10 bulls, 30 donkeys. Uh, now you go ahead of me. And when you meet Esau, he'll ask, what's up with all these animals? And you say, they belong to your servant, Jacob. They are a gift to you. Jacob is coming behind. On it. Me too. Ditto. The whole time Jacob was thinking, all these gifts will give Esau time to cool down and then Maybe, when he finally sees me, he'll welcome me. Jacob even sent his whole family ahead, across the river, figuring that Esau would not hurt them. Then, Jacob spent the night alone, wrestling with God, literally. But that's another story. In the morning, Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming, with 400 men. After all he'd done, Jacob was still worried. But this time, he didn't hide behind his family, or gifts. He went on ahead, and as Jacob neared Esau, he bowed down to the ground seven times. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. The brothers finally meet. Jacob and his whole family are all tensed up, because this could turn into all-out war at any second. But instead, Esau ran to Jacob. He hugged him and kissed him and both brothers wept for joy. After all that time, their family was reunited. Esau asked, Who are all these people with you? They are the children God has so kindly given me. Why did you send all those herds I saw? I hoped I could do something to please you. I already have plenty, brother. Keep them. No, please accept this gift. Seeing your face is like seeing the face of God. Then Esau went back to his home and Jacob camped with his family in Canaan. The end! Wow. Jacob was so worried, but what he was afraid of didn't happen. Kinda sounds a lot like me today. I mean, I spend time stressing about something and then it turns out okay. It's super easy to do that, but you can trust God with the little stuff and the big stuff too. Jesus did that. I mean, even when he knew he was going to be arrested, he talked to God about it, and then he trusted God to be with him through everything. That's right. You know, talking with God is a big part of trusting God. So what's our part in this story? Well, maybe you're really worried about a big test. You can ask God to help you study and give you a clear mind, and then trust that you'll be okay, no matter how the test goes. Or your parents are going on a big trip, and you'll be staying with your grandma for a whole week. You can ask God to give you peace and trust that God will be with you the whole time. I was so worried all week figuring out a cool experiment to do. I kind of forgot to talk to God about it. I guess that really would have helped. <laughs> For sure. I'll see you next time. Here's the thing. You can trust God even when you're worried. See how your experiment turned out? Brilliant. Next upon this toothpick, I shall balance myself. Hold this. You're actually doing this. Okay, thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. We'll see you next time. Jacob was so worried about making it up to Esau. In fact, he was convinced that Esau was still furious with That's him. right, the worry just like ate away. See, did you get that because of the food thing? Okay, the worry <laughs> ate away at Jacob so much that he even wrestled with God over it. <laughs> But thankfully, all that worry was for nothing because Esau welcomed Jacob back with open arms. Sometimes our worry can block out everything around us, making the thing that we're worrying about seem worse or way bigger than it actually is. Yeah, see, it's hard to think clearly when we're feeling anxious or worried, but there are things that we can just do to help us and try focus. Right, like writing down what we're worried about or talking to someone that we can trust. 
See, praying about it is a huge help too. Like Erica said, talking with God is a big part of trusting God. When we tell God our worries, it's like saying to him, I trust you to help me. We know that we can trust God with so many things and we don't have to worry because he has so many good things planned for our lives too. Yeah, so next time you guys are feeling worried, why don't you guys try chatting with God about it? It may take some practice, but it's good to talk things over with somebody you can trust. Now that's all for today. So thanks so much for joining us online. And, and we will be right back rocking with a brand new series starting soon. Stay tuned for the so-and-so show and we will catch you next time. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Catch you. Get it? I got you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gape in amazement and awe as I attempt to tame this ferocious creature! Yaw! Yaw! Back I say! Back I say! <laughs> you see, everyone, this is a dangerous situation to be in, but I am an expert! Yaw! 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 Oh, oh. What's going on? I heard screaming! Brandon! Stand back! I am now trying to tame this ravenous beast! That's the ravenous beast? Aw, John, come on, it's just so cute. You can't not pet him. Hey, <laughs> little Oh, whoa, ah, 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 Brandon! I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. And I've got to go, so goodbye. Brandon, what are you doing? Nothing. I, I, I just, I can't do the show today. Oh. Um, so maybe you could get someone else to do it with you. Or, um, <laughs> yeah. Or you could do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. We've done that before. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Nope. There you go. We got, uh, I just, what, for whatever reason, I just can't do the show. So, uh -huh. <laughs> toodaloo. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. Why do you want to leave? I don't want to leave. I have to. I have a dentist <laughs> appointment uh, for, my, for my teeth. Yeah, I got it. And also... No. What do you let me see that? I have uh, also my cat needs a haircut. Oh, she, yeah. she needs a haircut. Sure. And um, I gotta get candles at Target. Mm -hmm. uh, those three things, and other than that, uh, many more things. So see you later. Goodbye. Brandon, why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like anything. I always act this way. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just need to go. If you don't mm -hmm. mind. No, nope, that's all right. Nope. Oh, he all looks right. good. Here we go. What's going on? The fact is, I'd rather not be here when our guest arrives. You mean Clarabelle Cupcakes? Ah! Oh, yes, her. <laughs> What's wrong with Clarabelle? What's wrong with Clarabelle Cupcakes? She's great. She's hilarious and, and kind, a, a friend to humans and animals alike. Plus, she made me this amazing balloon sword. Ah! I get it, I get it, but afraid of clowns. Why? Clowns aren't scary, they're friendly. They'll give you free balloons. I know, I do. I, I stop. Sorry. There's just there's something about them. I, I, I don't know if I'm worried that a balloon is gonna pop or, or they're gonna spray me in the face with their, their, their flower that's filled with water or they're gonna make a joke about me and everyone's gonna laugh. I don't know. But it's all supposed to be fun. I yeah. know. It's probably just in my imagination, but I just can't help it. Uh, okay. I understand. I but go. there's nothing to be afraid of, okay? There's a lot to be afraid of. I will be here to support you. We will be here to support you. <laughs> so put down the coat and the hat. Go have a seat. And let's try to meet our guest. You ready? Hmm? Fine. <laughs> Please welcome someone who knows stuff! Well, I guess that we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a nice entrance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh hey, hey, hey. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> oh, this is great. So, um, <laughs> who are you and what do you know? I'm Clarabelle Cupcakes, and I am a clown. Maybe you can tell from my nose. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, you'll need to excuse my friend. He's a little shy around clowns. Oh, yeah. 
Do you want me to make you a balloon animal? No, thank you. Okay. Okay. So, Clarabelle, uh, what made you want to be a clown? Oh, well, my mom hired a clown to come to my sixth birthday. Mm -hmm. And it changed my life. <laughs> Watching him make everybody laugh just really inspired me. I wanted to make people laugh too, so it was an easy choice. Plus, I've got big feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Not a fan of feet. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So, uh, what are your, some of your favorite gags? <laughs> Well, everything. Uh -huh. I mean, balloon animals, oh. and face painting, squeezing a bunch of us into a tiny car. Uh. That's fun. <laughs> and well, everyone loves a squirting flower. Not everyone. Oh. <laughs> Clarabelle, I'm so sorry. Could you excuse us for a second? Of course. Great. What? Can we? Yep, yep. Hey, pretend like you can't hear us. Okay. <laughs> I get it. You're afraid of clowns. I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Listen, I understand that facing your fear can be really hard, especially when it's right here in front of you. <laughs> but I need you to trust me right now. I'm just, I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. I've got your back no matter what, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. ask Clarabelle some questions, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I can do this. Okay, good. All right, here we go. <laughs> so, Clarabelle. Yeah. What's your favorite part of being a being a cl 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 clown? What's your I got it. <laughs> well, that's an easy answer. Every weekend, I go to the children's hospital and visit the patients. Oh. You go and visit sick kids in the hospital? Well, yeah. I mean, life is hard if you're sick or in the hospital. So I like to show up and help the kids think about something else for a little bit. <laughs> Maybe put a smile on their face. Hmm. Well, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is anyone ever, you know, afraid of you? Well, sure, but you want to know what I do? What? I let them give a little squeeze of my nose, <laughs> and that usually makes them feel better. <laughs> you want to try? I mean, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 See, <laughs> I'm not so scary. <laughs> I mean, who can be scary with a nose so silly? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Clara Velvet. Thanks for coming. Oh, sure. <laughs> My pleasure. I'll see you guys later. Uh, ah! <laughs> see? I know. Bye. 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 <laughs> she even leaves funny. Uh, so how are you feeling? It wasn't as bad as I expected. Well, it usually isn't. So you still want to leave? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> what? How did you... It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hey Kellen, how goes it? It goes well. Today, we're gonna be talking about a guy named Jacob. Many years before our story, Jacob had tricked his brother Esau out of his inheritance. At that time, Esau wanted to kill Jacob. So Jacob ran away. He started a family. He had a bunch of kids and raised a bunch of animals. But then God spoke to Jacob. God said, go back to your father's land and to your relatives, and I will be with you. So God wanted Jacob to go back home, which meant Jacob would have to face his brother Esau. And Jacob was real worried about it too. Huh? Great. A talking donkey. Doug. Doug the donkey. How do you know Jacob was worried? Because I was there. I see. Jacob didn't want to go home. That's why he'd stayed away for 20 whole years. Because he was scared of Esau. Well, you're not real, but you're right. Jacob was worried, but God promised to be with Jacob. So Jacob headed back home. That's right. 
He set out with a whole family and all us animals. And when we got close, Jacob sent out messengers to Esau. I can verify that. Who can? I'm Cammy, one of Esau's camels. I was there when Jacob's messengers showed up. When Esau heard his brother was coming, he sent a message right back. Said he'd meet him, sure. Along with 400 of his men. So that had to make Jacob more worried. Was Esau still angry after all these years? Was he bringing an army? So Jacob came up with a plan. Yeah, some plan. He separated the people with him into two big groups. He even separated all his flocks and herds into two groups. He was thinking that if Esau attacked one of the groups, then the other group could escape. I was just hoping I was in the escape group. Then Jacob made the smartest move of all. He talked to God. He asked God to keep him safe. He sure did. Then Jacob sent Esau a gift. Well, several gifts. He sent goats and cows and sheep and camels and donkeys. Not me. Jacob sent his brother over 500 animals. Yeah, all day long these animals kept coming. And the messengers kept coming too. These animals are from your servant Jacob, they said. He's behind us, they said. What was Jacob thinking, that he could buy Esau's forgiveness? Well, he wanted to make peace with Esau. Esau already had camels. Okay, the next morning, Jacob looked up and saw Esau, Saul's brother, and the 400 men approaching. So he separated his family into groups. And then Jacob ran ahead to meet Esau. And then Jacob stopped and bowed down. He bowed down seven times. But when Esau saw Jacob, he got up and ran towards him. We all held our breath. (gasps) Esau ran up to Jacob, picked him off the ground, and hugged him. (sighs) Can you believe it? Esau forgave Jacob, and they both cried with joy. Their families were reunited. Yeah. I guess God really was with Jacob all along. Yep. 20 years is a long time to fight with someone. But in the end, Jacob finally made up with his brother. Thanks for your help, Doug. Cammie. Yep. No problem whatsoever. Jacob had a good reason to be worried. And we all worry sometimes. But it's important to know that you can trust God even when you're worried about something. God was with Jacob. God is with you. So talk to God. Ask God for help. Tell God how you feel. It could be what you're worried about isn't as bad as you think. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, what are you, what are you doing there, Brandon? Well, now that I face my fear, I think I can see the appeal behind clowns. Oh. Check it out. It's a dog. Oh! I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, good, good. It's fine. Me too. Reveal the question. Oh, yeah, today's question is what do people worry about? Oh, people worry about so many things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some people worry about money mm-hmm. or their health or, or the weather. Yeah, some people worry about clowns mm. or speaking in public or being in tight spaces. Oh, that's me, yes. Well, whatever you worry about, remember, God is with you. That's right. And Mm -hmm. we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yeah, we will. Huh? What? I don't know why it's not working for you. I know. Can I try it? Uh, See? It's easy.